I think there's a real strong probability we're going to see aliens. Some people say Project Blue Beam. No, no, no. If I'm right on my hypothesis, I think that there may be a portal where that dimension is going to come into this dimension and they have their powers. You might see your dead grandmother from 30 years ago, but it's not your dead grandmother. It's a demon shape-shifting to look like your grandmother. The demon knows how to mimic the voice, has some of the memories because they follow us. They have a longer lifespan than we do. When you go to a fortune teller that just knows shit, like there's just no way, they didn't have your phone, they didn't have your license, like they found out shit about you that there was just no way they could have known, I promise you that that fortune teller works with the demonic. Remember, they're on this earth, parallel to us. I believe, remember the story of Cain, the devil was able to shapeshift and teach him music? Yeah. Remember, some of the jinn, the demonic realm, have the ability to shapeshift. They follow us. They can mimic sound. They can do all, they have some of our memories. Uh, uh, I don't know. I've never been one of those people that just like chalks everything up to like the devil or demons or something. I don't know. It's kind of a cop out, right? Like I believe that humans have abilities and stuff. I believe in energy. I believe in other dimensional beings. There are just so many people that are just like immediately just go to like when somebody does something evil, like a celebrity, it's just automatically, oh, it's the devil. They're worshiping the devil. I'm like, no, that's just a sick person. That's just a, a person that has issues or like if something bad happens, it's the devil or alien, something outside of the realm of comfort is always evil and the devil. You know, who knows? I, I can't say for sure or not. It just irks me when people automatically just like blame negative things on evil forces because it takes the accountability away from the people that are doing it. So I don't know. Again, it's probably gonna piss some people off, but I'm not religious, so I don't give a shit. But <laughs> this flooding in North Carolina does not sit well with me. I think something's going on. So I decided to do some digging. So the first thing I find out is North Carolina has the richest deposits of lithium in the entire world. Yeah, lithium for like cars, batteries, all that. Then I find out they have the world's highest purity quartz deposits. And that quartz just so happens to be the world's supply for AI chips, microchips, and all kinds of stuff. We're talking a $530 billion industry. So this is where it gets interesting. So a company by the name of Piedmont Lithium is awaiting a state mining permit for a site in northern Gaston County. And Gaston County is completely flooded right now. The project was awaiting zoning approval because they were getting backlash from the residents and also city officials. And this lithium mine they want would be the third largest producer of lithium in the world. And they made a deal with Tesla already. Now remember the quartz? So in Spruce Pine, North Carolina, right next to Ashland, they are wanting to expand their mines even larger, and the residents aren't having it either. Enter the floods. People, these are mountain towns. It rarely, if not ever, floods in the mountains. I would know I grew up in the mountains in Colorado, which means none of these people have flood insurance. I mean, the media is saying biblical devastation in North Carolina. AKA like the worst thing that could happen and you're not coming back from it. Read between the lines people. Everything happens for a reason. I'm not going to say that it was weather manipulation that caused a storm to wipe out areas that people were protesting mining. And I'm also not going to say that the Maui fires had anything to do with them not wanting to move off their land in order to appease corporations as well. <laughs> but I'm not going to say they didn't either. Uh, and we know harp, we know weather manipulation is a thing. I mean, the it's it's been admitted to. It may not be weather manipulation, but cloud seeding is a thing that actually happens. I mean, if we can make it rain, we could probably create hurricanes and storms and tornadoes, right? Uh, and if the wrong people get their hands on that, we could probably move storms into areas for good and bad reasons, right? So I don't know, man. <laughs> it would not surprise me. It's very unfortunate and really fucked up if that is a thing that happened. I'm here in. Florida and the Tampa Bay all weekend. I was helping friends clean up from stuff that the, the hurricane caused and got a lot of friends that no longer have homes. And uh, I was fortunate enough to not live in a flood zone, but uh, I know a lot of people and have seen a lot of people that were not fortunate enough. So it's bad enough if it was a natural disaster causing people to lose their homes and lives. But God, is it fucked up if it is a intentional thing that happened just in order to appease some corporations and help them gain more profit. Have you ever been a human? No. Do you wish you were? We get to experience your humanness through you. I bet you wish you were a human on a Saturday night.
we have the opportunity as we interact in this body to experience some of this. Yes. Interesting. That was a joke. Do you laugh sometimes? We find it humorous. A Saturday night, it's the same as a Friday to us as well. Friday's not bad. We like your music. What kind of music? All music. All kinds. We've got some very talented people on this planet. Very much so. Highly talented. Let's talk about planet Earth. Is there hope for this planet? This planet will be here longer than the humans on it. What will happen to the humans? When a life is completed and one leaves their body, their soul leaves the body, we call it birth to birth, not birth to death. For you birth into your human existence, into this physical structure for the life that is desired to be lived. And when that is completed, the decision of the soul to leave the body births back into the multidimensionality of its existence. What does reincarnation mean to you, Theo? Choice. Explain Each human cho chooses to incarnate. And know there are billions of souls that would love to have a human body. You won the lottery. You got one. That was super crazy and interesting. Uh, I've actually heard a lot more recently, just in videos and, and things that people are sending me, that you guys are sending me, that we choose our life prior to living it. Like our soul or spirit chooses the exact life that we have in order to experience the things that play out throughout the course of our lifetime. Which kind of makes me think, like, why would <laughs> some people pick the lives that they pick, you know? Let's say, like, someone only lives to be, like, two years old, like a child with, you know, an illness and, and only lives, like, two years of pain and then passes, you know, like those terrible lives that, unfortunately, some people live. Why would a spirit choose something like that? Just to experience all that pain and suffering within a very short time and then just try something else afterwards, like doing a drug for the first time or something. I guess. I don't know, it's very strange to me, though. I don't know if this chick really had, like, 12 angels come inside of her. Giggity. But either way, it's very interesting stuff. This woman is saying it being angels talking through her or not. <laughs> but when you see this stuff in America, you know what's really weird? All the state capitol buildings that don't really match up. Like, why did they build something that was straight out of ancient Rome in, like, Iowa? You yeah. know, like, in Nebraska? 2,500 people live in a town somewhere, and they build a post office that has 700 rooms and is like an ancient castle. It's the same like with the Mormon temple where they said they went out to Utah, you know, with horse and buggy and nobody else out there. And they supposedly built this wonder of the world castle with no rails and no dump trucks and no cranes. And, and it goes down 40 to 60 feet underground with more building and even think about like the one year timelines. A lot of these buildings are one year wonders where they created this very elaborate stone building in one year. But then you think about some of these places that have one year timelines and then they work in like Syracuse, you know, Albany, Syracuse, yep. New York, these crazy places like that. Explain to me how much work they're getting done in the dead of winter when the roads would have been horrible. Then you add snow on it and then the logistics make no sense. You even think, like I said, go back to World War II. We're told that the Germans were not necessarily defeated by the Russian army. They were defeated by the Russian winter. Yeah. Because even with the high tech German stuff, they couldn't even move the equipment during a harsh Russian winter. Mm -hmm. So that is like the highest tech stuff in the 40s. And then you're talking about these things were built with horses and buggies in the 1840s. Yeah, I don't really know what to think about that, but that is wild for sure. I do think that there have been multiple, I mean, we know that there have been multiple civilizations over the course of Earth existing, but I definitely think there have been some that are have gotten past the point that we're at now. Uh, I don't know if it's necessarily Tartaria. Who knows, man? Um, I definitely think that it's super strange, like the Chicago World Fair, they had all those buildings, supposedly like paper mache, you know, just uh, skeletons of buildings to kind of show off what we're capable of. But dude, we don't even build like that anymore. <laughs> There's so much sketchy stuff that goes on all in all this. But I definitely do think that clearly we are not being told all the truth and nothing but the truth on our past. And that's really unfortunate. I'm not sure why they would keep information from us, but it's unfortunate. If you're a dinosaur fan, hear me out. This is a T-Rex. 
And these are the stupid little T-Rex arms. It never made sense to me, like, what's the point of those little teeny arms? So I looked up the skeleton to see what it would look like, and I was like, oh, look it, there they are, the little, little cute arms, adorable. But then I looked again, and I realized something, and I'm about to blow your mind. This is the skeleton of an ostrich. Wanna see another? Oh, there you go. The T-Rex did not have arms. It had wings. I think I just made history. It's a dragon. Sorry to bust your bubble, dog, but it's not a dragon. It's a giant chicken. So that's way cooler. <laughs> I, would, I would much rather that happen. I love dragons. Don't get me wrong. I love fantasy. I, I love all that. But if if I could choose between the T-Rex being a badass dragon or just a giant chicken <laughs> going around wreaking havoc on Earth, 100% giant chicken. In my mind now, that's what it is. It's not baby oil. It's GHB. Who has a thousand bottles of baby oil? If baby oil was such a big part of all these parties and all the things that Diddy did to his victims, some celebrities would have made a joke about it here and there. We would have heard about it. Especially Chrissy Teigen couldn't be paid to shut her mouth. That bitch would have cracked a joke about it for sure. I just watched this man's TikTok about how it's not a baby oil. It has to be laced with drugs. So as I'm reading the comments, someone said, that's why Jaguar Wright said in one of her interviews at the end, she said, Blink Twice. Blink Twice was a movie with Channing Tatum. He would spray perfume onto women who would make them forget everything. So then somebody else in the comments said, yeah, and GHB is slippery. So I look up, the, what is it called on the street? Look at the last one, liquid ecstasy. Side effects that include seizures and comas it was taken off the shelves or something in like the 60s. What is GHB used for in bodybuilding? Performance enhancement additive. What are the positive side effects of GHB? Feelings of euphoria. What is GHB for parents? Usually available as a clear liquid. It's not baby oil. It just makes sense because why would the feds confiscate fucking baby oil? And how do you get so many people to comply besides money? You drug them. Man, those Diddy parties. Ooh, can I even say Diddy anymore? Like, I feel like Diddy is like a curse word now. <laughs> but, I mean, yeah, it ma makes total sense. Having a thousand bottles of baby oil. <laughs> I mean, maybe he just really liked massages, which I'm sure he did. Yeah, I guess that makes a lot more sense. It being uh, drugs. You get people to comply, you know, lower their inhibitions. You know, make them comfortable having fun whatever and then you know it's easier to peer pressure people you know it's easier to get people to do things when they're not in the, the right state of mind you know because they're not thinking clearly so uh, i meant that makes total sense <laughs> i'm sorry i'm just thinking if it was <laughs> a thousand bottles of baby oil i feel like there's some stuff happening that's equally as fucked up right like a thousand <laughs> A thousand bottles of baby oil. Oh man, I'm not, I'm not sure which one's worse at this point. Clearly, the drugs are worse, but uh, baby oil is wild. A thousand bottles of baby oil is wild. 